Stephanie, a young girl, lives alone inside the house after being abandoned by her parents. That day after she finishes her show, she goes to play the piano and she goes to the kitchen to make a smoothie for herself. She speaks casually with a doll, Frances, and when she needs to climb the shelf to take an ingredient, she breaks the jar. After several failed attempts, she successfully blends the smoothie and she hears a sound. She goes outside the kitchen and sees a ball coming down from the stairs. She screams to an unknown person to stop playing like that and she returns to the kitchen to drink her smoothie. She subconsciously forgets what's there on the floor, so she mistakenly steps on the glass and gets injured. She cries into the bathroom and treats her wound before she plays around and goes to brush her teeth before going to bed. That night she reads a bedtime story to Frances and she expresses that she misses her parents. The following day after she wakes up she walks to where her family album is and checks the pictures. She hears the sound of a monster and closes her ears. When the sound stops she walks out of the room and checks her window. She tells Frances that the monster is outside the window and when the monster passes again Frances should not make any sound or think about anything because if the monster hears he will attack. She walks away and takes Frances outside to play ball. She sees a rabbit that she has named Mr. Hopper, and she wonders why he has gone away for a long time. She enters the house to bring food for Mr. Hopper, and after Hopper eats a little out of the food, he leaves again despite how much she begs him to stay. That night, she dreams of a mysterious human in the house with a twisting neck. She screams and wakes up, and she also feels an unfamiliar figure around the house. She walks towards the window and walks to her brother's room. She mistakenly steps on a rotten pumpkin, and when she notices, she takes the pumpkin and throws it through the window. She tells her brother that she will stop buying him the pumpkins because he doesn't eat them before they get spoiled. It is revealed that Paul is dead, and she has kept his corpse in the house and covered it there. She sits and holds his hand, and she squeezes her hand a little. That morning, she notices that her knife is on the roof, and she watches the television and changes the channels to news talking about a pandemic in the country and flight restrictions. She takes the channel away and changes it to another channel. She leaves for her brother's room, where she blames Paul that he is the reason why their parents have left home. She reminds him that their father had always said he is the eldest, and he is the one who should take care of her. So she doesn't know the reason he isn't taking care of her. She insists that if he had not died, their parents would still be home. She carries a big stick and hits it on him repeatedly. The thunder starts striking and the cover clothes on Paul removes, revealing his face and she screams. That night she sleeps in a very fearful manner. She stays in a camp and she uses the torchlight throughout the night. The following day when she wakes up, she sees some weird things around and succeeds in getting past the day. The next night, the thunder strike starts again. She walks around the house and sees very weird objects, so she goes to hide in the bathroom. Later, her parents, Eric and Jane, arrive. Jane opens the door and Eric calls her. She immediately screams her father's name and goes to hug him. Eric apologizes to her, telling her that he is glad she is doing well, and that she doesn't have to be scared again because they're back and they won't leave her again. Jane looks sad all the while. Stephanie spends the night in the same room with her parents and Jane looks at her with sympathy. The following day, Jane dresses up behind her and she reveals a large scar around her stomach. Stephanie sees but pretends as if she didn't see it. Stephanie eventually stands up from the bed and goes to Paul's room. She sees her father building something through the window and when she checks the bed, she sees that Paul is no longer on the bed. She immediately leaves the house, screaming Paul's name. She sees some pumpkins around the forest and she eventually sees that her parents have buried Paul. She was Paul when she was going back home and she starts removing the sand from the body. She hears her parents' voice calling for her, so she leaves there and returns home. Jane immediately shouts at her, asking her where she has gone and warning her not to go anywhere before. Eric goes to meet them and warns Jane not to shout at her. He begs them to keep calm and tells Stephanie that the forest isn't good for her and she shouldn't go there again. She tells them that she saw Paul there and she wants Paul to return back home, but they didn't reply to her at all. They attempt to start living a good life and Paul building some stuff in front of the house. Jane notices that Mr. Hopper is missing and Stephanie also asks Jane what Eric is building. She refuses to reply and says that Stephanie knows her father likes building many things. So she asks Jane why they left her. Jane explains that Stephanie knows they love her and they won't leave her for no reason. And as she is about to say the reason, Stephanie says she knows it because they thought the monster has gotten her too. Jane flows along with her and the girl continues by saying that the monster keeps coming, but she and Frances have developed a way to cope with it and hide from it, which is why the monster hasn't gotten them while her parents are absent. She goes to meet Eric and as Eric is about to ask her what happened to Mr. Hopper, Jane calls Eric. 
Eric asks Stephanie to remain outside and goes inside. Later, Jane speaks to one of her colleagues, asking if she has heard anything about how they can cure a person from the infection. Her colleague tells her they are just coping with it, and she also speaks about a rumor about a center that has found a cure. Her colleague keeps asking why she's asking such a question and asks if her children are fine, but Jane refuses to answer the question. Jane notices Stephanie was around and she ended the conversation. The following day as Jane wakes up, she sees the house scattered and broken, and Paul's corpse is back inside the house miraculously. While Jane is disturbed and in tears, Eric consoles her, but Stephanie looks at them as though nothing had happened. During her breakfast, she asks her parents how Paul's corpse had returned to the house and asks if their monster bought the corpse. They tell her yes. She asks if the monster will always come for them. And when they reply affirmatively, she wonders if they can relocate so the monster won't find them. But they tell her the monster will always find them. She realizes the monster is coming for her and she asks to excuse the table. She enters into her mom's room and sees several surgical materials. Jane enters and throws the materials away, thereby breaking a glass. Later, Stephanie goes to take her bath and her father comes to meet her there. He apologizes for her mother's acts and encourages her that she is strong. She asks him why they had left her and he confesses that they left because they were afraid. He claims he was afraid of himself and he didn't know if he would be able to step up to the responsibility ahead of him. He tells her she is strong and she can conquer anything she goes through. He reassures her that she can conquer the monster. After he leaves her, he tells his wife that they don't need to have any surgical procedure to remove the virus, but he insists that Stephanie can control it. She fears that he would be like the other affected people, but he claims she wouldn't get the surgery right and Stephanie could die. That night, Stephanie dreams that the monster killed her father. She wakes and walks around the house and her parents wake up. She screams as something drags her father away and Jane takes her into hiding and then closes her ears. After the sound reduces, Jane takes her out, but something drags her away too. Stephanie jumps out through the window and she starts screaming. Jane and Eric try to help, but the ground keeps breaking. Jane eventually sedates her, revealing that there is no monster and Stephanie is the monster, and the power had been making her hallucinate. In an experiment, they make Stephanie narrate what happened when Paul died, and she revealed that when she got angry because Paul teased her because of Pumpkin, she used her telekinetic to twist Paul's neck and injured her parents, which caused them to run. The power overshadows her again and Jane sedates her. Eric approves for Jane to have the surgery on Stephanie since she can't control the power. As they do the surgery, she wakes up and then destroys the lab. Later, Eric watches the news that says the kids like Stephanie are worldwide and there is no solution unless they are killed. The next day, they poison a drink for Stephanie and Eric asks her to follow him. In the woods, he explains to her that she is possessed. Although she promises to control the power, it overpowers her and she attempts to kill Eric, who shoots her in the head. He returns home and they shockingly see Stephanie coming back home. She enters and kills her parents, telling them they shouldn't have returned. She destroys the house and she drags their corpse to Paul's burial ground. Her shadow shows long tentacles and she walks away, destroying the other houses around. It is also revealed that kids of the same nature are also around, destroying and killing people all over the earth.